What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Look, y'all, I'm a, I'm gonna say the same thing that I said in a video that I did for the relationship rehab. I did a video where I basically came at him for coming at Ahmad Arbery, and I explained on that video what I said because Tommy played a video where. I said, I pray the same thing happened to your kids. I pray God kills your kids because I wanted him to see how it felt. But to keep it real with you guys, it was a wrong thing to say. And I'm an honorable dude. You think I don't know it was fucked up what I said in rage? And I'm going to show you guys. In fact, before I explain why I said it to the re, uh, relationship rehab guy, look, the minute I said that to the dude, look, that day, what that says, y'all, yesterday... 4.05 a.m. I wrote him a lengthy letter about apologizing and I explained why I said that to the relationship rehab. I'm, Tommy looked like he's looking for a beef. I'm not going to do any beef. The relationship rehab dude literally, I mean, I got a video I downloaded and I'm not going to play it anymore. I was going to play it, but he knows I downloaded it too because I let him know that. I don't dox people. That's what Tommy and them do. I don't worry about people's family and dox. I don't need nobody to tell me I was wrong to bring up that man kids, but I was trying to do an example and it went fucking left. I admit that I should have articulated better. What I was trying to say is the way you're laughing at Arbery death and blaming this for his death and doing jokes with the clan member that called in because he did do a joke with a clan member that called in. In fact, two days in a row, he had a field day on Mr. Arbery and he put both videos on private and Tommy played the part where I came at the relationship rehabs kids. And I didn't come at them like that. I don't know this man, kids. I said, I pray God do the same thing to his kids. Was I wrong? You guys don't have to tell me. I'm completely wrong. But the reason I'm making this video, it looks like Tommy is trying to paint a narrative. He said, dude, stop talking about me and come talk childless. I'm not going to beef with him. He clearly has a beef. And I responded to him salute to you your great father all the typical blah blah blahs because i'm trying to avoid dude then he writes this to me as if i'm the one who sent him an email first dude leave me alone that crap you said to brian and so the nation was disgusting this is the same guy who said something about kanita jenkins laughing at the dead body this is the same guy that said something about trayvon martin it was trayvon martin fault he got killed this is the same man who said something about sandra bland and i can go on and on but yeah i'm the one who said something disgusting, which I'm more honorable than Tommy. It was disgusting what I said. I would never make an excuse for it. I still haven't made an excuse for it. If you go to my channel, you'll see the relationship rehab picture with a, a raccoon in the front of it. And you can clearly hear me admitting I said this. So the fact that Tommy used it to play it on his channel to try to make me feel some type of way. And then he clicked this. I, I responded to him to basically leave me alone. And he put... You are now blocked. Get help. Tommy, you need help to keep it real with you. I didn't follow you. I, didn't, I wasn't bothering you. You came at me. You even had a whole show about me. I'm not going to beef with you, dude. I'm going to still say respect to you. Even though you have no honor or respect, I will still give you respect because I'm more honorable than you. I apologize to your dear friend, Brian. It, it amazes me. You're calling me disgusting because you're best friends with Brian. But how do you think that... Ahmad, let me go back to him because you wrote, I'm disgusting. I'm going to have to live with it. I will live fine with it because that's between me and God and Brian, not you. Stop with the fake emotions. Now, you said I'm going to have to live with it and it's disgusting what I said about your friend Brian. But imagine the things you said about Ahmad Arbery, how his mother feels. Just because you're not best friends with his mother, it doesn't say that Oh, you're now in, in, a, in a moral compass to judge other people. Unlike you, Thomas, I'm still going to own up what I said to your dear friend, Brian, because you're trying to make it look like because of Brian, you're coming at me. You're coming at me because I separated from you. I didn't disrespect you. I even gave praise to your mother. She's a, a preacher just like my father is. I'm not going to go at you. There's a lot of suckers out here that I go at. I do go at the drug dealers. I do go at black on black crimes. You can't hit me with that. All this is over me saying I separated from you. And Soto Nation stalkers, yes, they've been hitting me up. It's weird. I don't argue back with them. If I if I want to, I've recorded everything they wrote to me. Yes, a couple of your Soto Nation members said same things about my kids well before I even said that about Brian's. Unlike them, I know I was in the wrong. 
This is what I wrote to Brian an hour after I said what happened. I don't need people to tell me when I am wrong. I am honorable. Being honorable doesn't just mean you just say you're honorable. You have to display it. I don't have beef with this dude, Brian, other than I think he's disgusting as well. You know the disgusting you called me. Well, I think it's disgusting him laughing at this young man, Dev, talking about he should have ran into the woods. It's amazing you guys always said if it was you, but you clearly showing your character. I'm still going to say blessings, and I didn't make a video about Tommy. This video is about Brian because if people want to know what was said in the video, I'll I'll tell you, I literally got mad because he blocked me. If you guys don't know, this dude, Brian, the relationship, uh, 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 I think his name is Relationship Rehab. I tried to have a civil debate with him. The minute I got on, he started acting like he was Tommy. He was like, look at that old jersey you got on, a do-rag. I didn't even have a jersey on. I didn't even have a do-rag on. He just told on himself how he thinks. He has a not... Well, I don't know about Tommy. We Y'all can make your own determination. But I'm talking about his best friend, Brian. This guy, literally, I have the audio. I have the video. He's talking about how he killed two black dudes in Walmart or something like that. He was very excited about it. And it was just disgusting as well. So since Tommy wanted to say I'm disgusting, Tommy, have fun with that. That doesn't work on me because... I can play the same narrative and play the videos where you went relentless, relentlessly in on dead people who couldn't even defend themselves against you. So nice try, buddy. You can act like this is about Brian and me coming at his kids, which I I did come at them, which was wrong, period. So you can get mad because you guys do have a right to get mad. Unlike you, I'm not going to try to do a debate about it, try to make myself look better. It was unbecoming of me. And just like you're trying to get in the business, it was not your business. It was between me and another brother, which I already send my apologies. Unlike Brian, your best friend, he didn't send any apologies to Ahmad nor me for how he treated me before I even said them things. Things. So yeah, I got to control my temper a lot more. So have fun. I smoke crack, but you're talking about I'm the disgusting one. See, there's no point getting mad because a lot of people heard a lot of the things you said over the years. So I'm not worried about you making a hundred videos about me acting like I'm some evil dude and I smoke crack. That's disgusting of you to treat followers of yours who gave you nothing but the utmost respect. It goes to say a lot about you. Now have a blessed day. I'm not going to attack you, your family, or nothing. I'm not like that at all. You will find no videos where I'm coming at people's family except that one video. But don't act like your friend Brian is some innocent dude. That's the disgusting nature. Play the entire videos. In fact, play the other video as well the day before. But I don't care if you guys play it or not. I'm pretty sure grown men and women can make their own judgments. And most folks can see who's the more mature person, who's handling it the right way. But if you want to take that video, to I'm gonna have to live with it I can do the same thing but I'd rather not like you said you're very famous and like you always say you're a celebrity everybody I'm sure heard the disgusting things you've said in the past I mean it's so easy I could play it all day but why do I need to play it I'm pretty sure even Soto Nation heard what you said now have a blessed day and to Brian I'm more honorable than you I'm gonna continue telling you I was wrong for what I said should happen to your family. Because if I feel for Ahmad the same way, even though you're laughing at his death, even though you're justifying his death, you're laughing with clan members calling your show who are being blatantly racist. So I'm going to still apologize to you because your kid should have had nothing to do with it. And just like I told you in that Instagram, uh, less than an hour when I said that, if the same thing happened to Brian kids I would have protected his kids as well because we should protect each other I never come at kids that was unbecoming of me and I did realize that I didn't take a day like some people do a, a whole long time it was almost right away because it was wrong period and Brian is a dude that despised people who look like me and I still apologize because to be the bigger man you have to walk and be moral ethic well, I butchered that, but it is what it is. It's early morning. I'm tired, but you have to have moral about you and you have to have ethics about you. And I do. So I don't need a hundred Soto Nation members to tell me I'm wrong because you people have no right to tell me I'm wrong. You're the same group of people who never tell Tommy when he's wrong. So please, I urge you guys, I'm not coming at your master and leader. Check the facts. I have no video coming at him, but you can see videos of him coming at me. So what that says about your characters, I ignore people like you. If you can't come at him and tell him when he's wrong, 
please don't have any civil conversation with me where you started off by coming at my kids. Yeah, I took screenshots of all you Soto Nation members, not for YouTube or anything like that. I'm not going to even explain why I took the screenshots. I'm not going to dox anybody. But Soto Nation members, keep proving me right. All of y'all have a blessed day. This is not I Smoke Hip Hop versus Tommy. No, that's Tommy versus the Invisible Ghost. I don't know these people. I have a real life. The camera's about to go off. You would never hear me speak about this man again. In fact, this video is for Brian. Since everybody want to be a victim, when the same fire is thrown at them, now they're a victim. Unbelievable. Have a blessed day, y'all.